Hey there, fellow rail fans. Welcome back to another Live Trains Rail Recap. Let's jump into the video. We begin the video at Blue Island, Illinois, where a southbound CN train operating on the CSX Elsden subdivision has a concerning issue near the tail end of the train. Our cameras caught a box car with smoke pouring off of its wheels. Since there is smoke coming off both sets of trucks, it's safe to assume that this smoke isn't caused by a hot bearing, but rather the brakes being applied when they shouldn't. The smoke is caused by the brake shoes burning as they are all in contact with all the wheels. The brakes being applied on a rail car that shouldn't be is generally caused by either sticking brakes, the car's handbrake being applied, or the retainer valve being set to high pressure. Sticking brakes can be caused by faulty brake components like the control valve or brake cylinders and the brakes don't release after they were applied by the engineer. Or the engineer applied a shallow brake application which can result in sticking brakes in particular near the tail end of the train. If the retainer valve on the car is set to high pressure it will maintain 20 psi of brake on the car regardless if the brakes are released. This train will definitely get a hot wheel alarm on the first defect detector it encounters. Moving along over to Houston, Texas. At Tower 26, we spot a CPKC train with the unique CPES44AC number 8781 leading solo. Canadian Pacific has repainted 8781 in a special paint job to recognize container shipping company Hapag Lloyd, the key customer in the railroad's container service from the port of St. John, New Brunswick, Canada. CPKC got access to the port of St. John after its purchase of Central Maine and Quebec Railway.
over to Blue Island, a Norfolk Southern train crawls over the diamond with AC 44C6M number 4401 in the lead. We caught a perfect over and under meet with a Metro train. The Metro train is led by Metra number 425, which adorns a special heritage paint scheme to honor the Rock Island Railroad. If you enjoy our content and wish to support our channel, hit that join button below. Now back to the video. Moving along now to St. Louis, Missouri, an interesting surprise on this unique lash up on this UP train. Alton and Southern EMD SD 40-2 number 2044 was caught trailing on this train. 2044 rarely leaves Gateway Yard and is relegated to switching duties there. If anyone knows where it's off to let us know in the comments.
in St. Louis, Missouri, the usual daily terminal rail train 201 goes by the camera with a pair of EMD SD 60i locomotives of Conrail heritage. The conductor stepped out to wave hello to the camera. And that wraps up today's recap. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your fellow rail enthusiasts. Thanks for joining us on Live Trains. Until next time, cheers.